The homeless problem is growing. That's what a group that works with the homeless says it sees on the streets of Ingham County. And it is our top story at five. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. The group says the number of homeless in Ingham County has doubled in the last year. Data is still being collected in the annual count of the unhoused, but Kyle Megan sat down with some of the people who helped with that. He's here for you now with an early look at that report. Kyle. Sherry, this annual count of the homeless is called a point in time count. The path outreach group that counts the tri county says here in Ingham, the number of people living on the streets is up and what makes the problem even worse, the weather. Hello, whether it's under bridges or underground, one organization says more and more homeless camps keep popping up around Lansing as two coordinators with the Housing Services of Mid Michigan say the situation in Ingham County is only getting worse within the last 90 days that we have had and um, proof of homelessness, uh, whether it be in shelter, abandoned car building, um, that type of thing. There was 232 of those people. That doubled last year's count of 111. But the problems don't stop there, as the weather in Michigan is not kind to people who live outdoors, like freezing temperatures and flooding, something the team has seen firsthand. Where this person was in their tent, they, they could have drowned in their tent, but others woke them up and got them out in time. But then it's, it's this mad rush to gather your belongings that are now half submerged. And so all of that hard work you've put into creating a home, your home just floods out. Once the outreach team finds the homeless, their quest to find housing begins. But Lair says there's just not enough affordable housing. But even in the face of this problem, the team is not giving up hope and instead offers some ideas to help. Navigating the system is the hardest part and everywhere kind of does minimal case management. Well, a lot of these people need more um, hand-holding. Now, the official point in time count will be released in the next few weeks. That will show the number of people living on the streets and in the shelters for Ingham, Clinton, and Eaton County. Sherry, back to you.